I've, I've kind of like been drawn, drawn into it as things have progressed working on, um, working towards a degree. Um, when I first started, it, it, what, that wasn't my intention. When I first started, it was to learn more about art um, because I've sort of like had that interest throughout my life. I took the route of learning, uh, of studying architecture, um, but it's always been a conflict um, whether or not I should have actually gone on to um, do fine art. And when I look back, I would probably have been happier doing fine art then. Well, it was a friend that recommended the OCA years ago. Um, I belonged to a painting group um, at the time I lived in Scotland, uh, and um, they'd uh, made a start with the OCA and, and thought it would be good for me. Um, and that's how I got um, hooked, really. I think you have to decide how serious you want to take it. Um, when I started, it, it was really part-time, uh, and I didn't know where I was going with it. At some point, you do become uh, hooked with it, uh, and that's when you need to sort of like set aside, first of all, somewhere where you can do the work uh, and devote that to where you do the work. And then the same with your time. But it, it, it's really about establishing um, an attitude uh, in the end. Uh, and that's as much part of the learning process as, as anything. It, it's trying to develop a state of mind where you can sort of like start to learn to solve problems on your own. If I, if I talk about the development of um, Mornington Crescent, it was at the stage where I was looking at um, the work of Jasper Johns. There were all sorts of conflicts going on in, in my mind when I was actually working on this, which route to take. The actual development of that, that painting started quite early, trying to search around for ideas, where to go with it. I was looking at sort of like, um, I mean, it was straying into Rauschenberg as well. And it slowly developed into sort of like taking um, maybe an underground sign. And I settled on Morn Mornington Crescent because it, it also relates to the Radio 4. I'm sorry, I haven't a clue. And the, the whole point of Mornington Crescent, is there are no rules. Um, so that, that was the reason behind Mornington Crescent. It's a very fragile painting and eventually it will uh, decay um, and just fall apart. Uh, but really, it's that, I don't think that matters um, because it's it's the process of actually making it that is the most important thing.